This introduction to the gamma distribution is offered by statlect.com, the free digital textbook on probability, statistics, and matrix algebra. The gamma distribution is a continuous univariate distribution. A gamma random variable can take any positive real value between zero and infinity. The gamma distribution is a generalization of the chi-square distribution. If you sum n independent squared normal random variables that have mean 0 and variance 1, the resulting sum has a chi-square distribution. If you sum n independent squared normal random variables that have mean 0 and variance sigma square, possibly different from 1, the resulting sum has a gamma distribution. As a consequence, while the chi-square distribution has one parameter equal to the number of variables in the sum, the gamma distribution has two parameters the number of variables in the sum and their variance. The probability density function of a gamma random variable has a pretty complicated expression that depends on the two parameters n and sigma squared I told you about in the previous slide. The normalization constant involves the gamma function, a function of one variable that is often used in probability and statistics. If you are not familiar with the gamma function, you can find a simple introduction to it on statlect.com. There, you can also find interactive calculators and charts that will help you to get an intuitive grasp of the gamma function. There is something important that you need to know. There are several equivalent parametrizations of the gamma distribution. For example, you can take the density function in the previous slide and make the substitutions. Theta equals two times sigma squared k equals n divided by 2. What you get as a result is the parametrization shown on this slide, which is one of the two displayed on Wikipedia. Or you can make the substitution h equals n times sigma squared, which gives the parametrization presented on Statlect. All of these parametrizations are useful, and each has its own advantages. For example, the parametrization proposed on Statlect is often used in Bayesian statistics because it simplifies calculations. When you deal with the gamma distribution, in your homework or in your statistical analyses, the first thing that you need to do is to check which parametrization is being used. Thank you for watching this introductory video. On statlect.com you can find more in-depth lectures, examples and exercises on hundreds of topics in probability, statistics, and matrix algebra.